what's up youtube family if you guys are new to my channel welcome and for those of you who are coming back nice to see you again if you guys are interested in purchasing any of my merch and my new ebook course which is also available in audio form you can head over to my website let's get right into this video today we are doing a drives with denise but we're not driving we are stationed waiting for my niece to get out of dance class we are in dd duty today while i was waiting i just got the urge to come on camera and speak with you guys it's been a while since we've sat in the car together let's get right into today's topic reinventing yourself this is something i recently have done not with any previous plans to do so but it's been the most rewarding decision that i've made i had no previous desire to not do what i was doing which was entertainment reporting acting modeling a lot of things in front of the camera in the entertainment industry once the pandemic hit 2020 i had so much free time that's when i started indulging in a lot of spiritual practices meditation journaling consistently this was something that i was doing day in and day out for multiple hours a day because there was nothing else to do so it was the best time to very much focus solely on a journey with myself. I remember I was in my apartment and the first experience that I had with what they call automatic writing was so transformative because I sat there in meditation. I kid you not, I knew I was having an out-of-body experience. And once I was back in my body, I right away grabbed a journal, grabbed a pen and just started writing kind of unconsciously, but obviously I knew that I was performing that action in that moment but i wasn't conscious of what i was writing it wasn't until i stopped but then i came back into another trance of being in my body and in my conscious mind and i realized i had written three pages back and front and there was so much information in those pages of just this reinvention that i was gonna go through that being said when i say please build the courage to reinvent yourself no matter what doubts come into your head no matter what insecurities come into your head i want to explain this to you in a metaphysics quantum physics way and what i mean by that is when you decide to reinvent yourself you are deciding in that moment to detach from an old persona that you have been this is the character me squared like i speak about in my ebook course which in the first chapter we talk about becoming the new self this is something that must happen in every single body you have which is not just your physical body it's your emotional body your mental body and your physical body we currently live here yes in this planet this 3d reality but there are multiverses happening all at once when people talk about time being an illusion this is what they're referring to because time really isn't linear the way that we were taught it it's not going in a straight line it's actually moving like an infinity symbol if you guys look at an infinity symbol and envision it in a 3d perspective it's going to intertwine itself it's moving in the same eight form so when they say time is an illusion and you can visit the past and the future all in the present moment this is true this is real i've experienced Experience this through meditation that being said when you decide to reinvent yourself you need to tackle that old self and fully kill it off and become the new self fully embody the new version of you that you want to become you have to sit there with yourself and really come to terms with how this new version of you feels emotionally thinks mentally and looks physically and you need to start embodying these habits that this version of you has which you could tap into by taking time to connect with that version of you because time is an illusion that version of you exists right here right now not in a distant future or not in the near future the future and the past are actually illusions of our mind i know that's a lot for our perception to kind of grasp when you first hear it but i promise you the only moment that actually exists and is valuable is the now moment so in order to reinvent yourself in the now moment you have to sit and ponder with what qualities this new self of you has and don't be afraid to step into those qualities of course beware your ego is gonna want to stay the same because it's the most comfortable it's how it could protect you because it's familiar that's not who you want to be anymore so you're gonna have to fight your ego mind which is another personality other than your intuition these are two separate things we're talking about your ego mind has made up a specific personality of who this person is who denise is 
but your intuition knows who you actually are so when i felt that nudge inside of me to reinvent myself of course i was afraid i started detaching myself from desires i had for all my life i definitely went through a period where i was unsure of where i was guided to go and i know i wasn't being fully trusting in who i was being guided to become and it wasn't until i became super confident in who i was that that fear finally disappeared which is where i think we all sometimes self-sabotage we are afraid of these shadow aspects of ourselves and sometimes we don't want to talk about them we don't want to give it attention i I've learned that feeling those fears is the only way to crumble them because the reality is that fear is all illusions anything you're fearing right now is an illusion and it's a lie I promise you and when you sit there with your fears that's when you come to that realization and you're able to say that with confidence and knowing only then only when you face those shadow aspects of yourself when your heart is guiding you to a reinvention be prepared for those doubts and insecurities to come through maybe some that you weren't even aware you had because i went through that but these moments were the moments that gave me the opportunity to ground my spiritual practices to remember who i was who i truly was and i started indulging in activities that i knew brought me back home to myself that connected me to god's source or the creator go out in nature much more to sit there and get that guidance put my hands on these living beings because everything around us has a consciousness and it's alive and i would give thanks to these trees for being here with me in this moment and for cleansing me because they do nature cleanses you whether you're aware of it or not naturally without you having to do anything honestly these were all aspects of this new reinvention through the journey that's what i was realizing so yes it's gonna be scary but this is where you have to build that perseverance or not build it actually tap into it these qualities i believe are qualities we already are we're just remembering them i think there's a lot of teachings out there that unfortunately make us forget that we are everything we want everything we desire already exists within us everything outside of us actually came from within us and there's this higher knowledge that you can look into where you really ground the awareness that you are a godlike being you are already this divine self you just have to remember that and own that and know that it's past faith it's past hope it's unknowing and when you do this you fall in love with yourself and you ground in the knowing that whatever image of who you want to become is already you you ground in that knowing and that is how you manifest it in the 3d detaching from everything is how you attract everything to you needing nothing is how you receive everything remember that detach yourself from this old persona this old reality this old lifestyle and decide that the vision you've seen are all you want to align with remember you hold all the power don't put yourself in a box you are so multi-talented in ways that your brain might not even know how to process right now staying in positivity is crucial that is how you hyperjack this matrix is by staying in the present moment and only addressing things with an optimistic positive mindset telling yourself and believing things like i always get what i want it can't go any other way than for me there's no such thing as you not having something you have everything you need in the present moment. And if you don't have it yet, it's because you don't need it. These are literally Bible verses. It's everywhere. We are all talking about the same thing. We shouldn't be settling for anything less than what we deserve. This includes environments, friendships, businesses, boundaries, your standards, your morals. These all need to be solid. And that's where reinventing yourself starts. And don't forget that your confidence comes from within. There's nothing you need outside of you. Be intentional with everything. Once you reach this level of self-love, but no outside opinions are gonna matter which most of the time are what's stopping you from this reinvention we're gonna be doing more conversations like these so stay tuned for the next video thank you guys so much for just being patient with me i truly appreciate every single one of you thank you for commenting for subscribing and just being a part of this family and this journey that we are all on together again if you're interested in downloading my ebook course which will help you with reinventing yourself or healing from triggers in a healthy way and becoming more self-aware you can do so on my website if you're an audio learner 
the audio version is also available it's self-narrated stay tuned there's a lot of fun things coming i hope this video helped you i love you so much and i'll see you here next time bye